here, even though this race is not what we had hoped for, I am immensely grateful for the opportunity to have been part of this journey and to have all of you with me on it. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate Representative Emma Mulvaney Stanek. I value and respect the ideas that Emma brought to the table, the camaraderie that we maintained through difficult debates, and her love and commitment for Burlington. I look forward to continuing to work with Emma to advance the many areas where we have agreement and to address the issues we face as a city. I talked with Emma earlier tonight. We had a great conversation. She was so gracious and I look forward to continuing to work with Emma. As you know, the mantra for this campaign has been all hands on deck. And I wasn't sure if it was going to stick when I announced my candidacy 124 days ago. But each and every day since then, all of you here tonight and so many more showed up to make the all hands on deck idea a reality. Woo! Our commitment, our commitment, our commitment is not just to the campaign, but to moving Burlington forward. So let's offer all our all hands on deck to Emma. And a big section in here to congratulate all of the city council candidates that Adam just so graciously did. I stole her section, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to serve with so many wonderful Democrats and to have the new Democrats on board who, who really are gonna bring new skills and new perspectives to the table, all for the benefit of Burlington. And I thank you all for stepping up. I wanna take a few minutes to call out just some of the people who were by my side during this journey. I could not have done this without my team, who worked themselves to the bone every day. First of all, I want to recognize my campaign manager, Hannah King. I also want to recognize our key, key campaign team, Colin Hilliard, Ryan Adario, Jane Nogal, Gordon McFarland, and Ryan Nick. Thank you to the BTV Dems, Dems team and Jim Dandino, who not only showed up for the mayor's race, but made sure we won a majority on the city council. He among them, Adam Roof. Andrew Champagne, Romeo Von Herman, Sam Doherty, and Lexi Wheeler. Woo! Thank you all. <laughs> and a special thank you to, to uh, the folks I call my intervention team, a quad partisan group of people who over a long course of time persuaded me to take on the job of mayor. And they wouldn't take no for an answer. They had a hand in everything that happened from, from before the launch right up to today. Thank you to Dave Hartnett, to Kurt Wright, Jane Nodell, and Mark Barlow. Our team had over 20 student interns who did an amazing job and brought so much energy to our work. I want to thank Caroline Williams, Tucker Lane, and Andrew Blanfin, just a few of the interns who went above and beyond. Thank you to my fundraising team who helped us make fundraising history. Pat Robbins, Dan Feeney, Owen Milne, Betsy Liley, and James Unsworth. Thank you all. And thank you to all of the many donors to this campaign, to all of you who made the phone calls, who did the door knocking, uh, who wrote on Front Porch Forum. Uh, there, we also had so many incredible events uh, to engage voters throughout the campaign, and thank you to those who helped 
to plan and host those events, including Kevin Garrison Jr., Amy and Dan Feeney, Kathy and Tony Stamper, Alganish Michael and Abby Ambai, Mulu Tuelde, Judy and George Russell, Birgit Bo Bozak, Shireen and Chip Hart, Tegan Hart, Alan Bierke, Katie Lesser, Michelle Ash, Kitty Bartlett, and Bob Kiernan. Thank you all. Our campaign made over 50,000 contact attempts through phone banking, door knocking, and text banking, and more than 100 volunteers helped make that possible. There are too many to thank, but I want to just name a special few who, who really were just showing up in so many different ways. Tiki Archambault, Dave Marr, wow. Pat and Terry Rivers, Mort and Nareet Zachter, Daryl Fields, Suzanne Hebler, Leanne Smith, Margaret Cicchetti, Algo Bay, Eileen Blackwood, Mike Sherling, Brian Lowe, thank you all. Thank you, Joan. And thanks to, you, to all of you. I forgot to mention all of you who were out there pulling down stickers. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Keep that up. Um, Moreau, I, ha I haven't seen Moreau here, but Moreau is here. I'm sure. <laughs> Moreau, thank you for your 12 years of service to Burlington, and thank you for your support during this campaign. You have accomplished so much to sit at our ship here in Burlington. We all owe you a great gratitude. Let's hear it from Moreau. And I want to thank my family especially my husband, Ken. Sign guy! Sign guy! There were signs that he replaced every day. Ken did an amazing job, not, not just out in the field with the signs, but also at home. Uh, I've never been treated better. This may be one of the, one of the biggest downfalls here tonight, but thank you, Ken. <laughs> thank you to my daughter, Julia. Jules. Thanks for being here with me. And my, my sisters, of, of my four sisters, Two, two family representatives made it up, Ellen and Deborah. Thank you both. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank all of the voters who, who came out in support of me and also in support of, of Emma. Um, while tonight is not what we hoped, let us not lose sight of the progress we have made and the values we hold dear. Our campaign was built on a foundation of hope and a belief in the power of community. And those values will continue to guide me and all of us. As we move forward from this moment, let us remember building a better Burlington requires all of us to continue to buy in to local governance, lend a hand where we can, and keep the movement that we saw through the all hands on deck mantra going. My promise tonight is that I will remain committed to this work and to being a voice for positive change in our city. And thank you all for being here with us tonight.